FileZilla Pro Series. These tutorials are aimed at illustrating how to best use FileZilla Pro, FileZilla flagship product. This video collects all FileZilla Pro tutorials about FileZilla Pro features. In this video, we'll teach you how to register FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to register your copy of FileZilla Pro. You can register your copy of FileZilla Pro when installing it. FileZilla Pro will also ask for registration if there is a new version available for update. Launch FileZilla Pro. If you have skipped it at installation time, choose Check for Updates option to start the registration. In order to register your copy of FileZilla Pro, you need the registration key. If you don't have the registration key, you can use your purchase details to register. The purchase details are the email you use to purchase FileZilla Pro and your order number. You can find it in your purchase confirmation email. If you can't find it or have lost your registration key, send an email to info at filezillapro.com asking for help. Press OK to submit the purchase details and register your copy. If your clock is not correctly set, you will receive an error message like this. Sync your computer's clock with the Internet and try again. Make sure you are connected to the Internet, otherwise you will get a registration error. If your data is valid, a registration key will be provided. Store your registration key safely. You will also receive an email with your registration key. If you need to reinstall FileZilla Pro, you have to use your registration key again. In this video, you learned how to register your FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to Amazon S3 cloud service or any other S3 compatible service. Before start, make sure you have a S3 key pair. You will need both the access key ID and the secret access key in order to continue. You can get them from the S3 console website. Just click on the link to S3 console website you find in the video description. Now we can continue. First of all, you need to create a site entry for your S3 connection. Click New in the Site Manager dialog box to create a new connection. Select S3 Amazon Simple Storage Service as the protocol. Automatically, FileZilla Pro fills the host name. Choose Normal as the logon type. Enter your access key ID and secret access key in the text boxes. If everything is correct, you can now connect to your S3 storage. In the right side, you see your buckets, directories, and files. In this video, we'll teach you how to connect to S3 compatible cloud environments. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to non-Amazon S3 storage providers like DreamObjects or DigitalOcean, which we will show you here as a sample configuration. In the video description, you will find a link to a wiki page with the DigitalOcean instructions. Ask your provider for the endpoints and regions. You will need them to configure FileZilla Pro. You need also your access and secret keys. Launch FileZilla Pro. Open the S3 Providers configuration. FileZilla Pro already has the configuration to connect to the Amazon S3 provider. For non-Amazon providers, you need to add the provider configuration. In order to add a new provider configuration, click the Add button. Name the provider as you wish. In the Region list, you enter the regions as supplied by your provider. Choose Add to enter a new region. Enter the name of the region. Double-click the description and enter it. Double-click the endpoint and enter it. Perform the same steps for the other regions. Catch-all entry is used to handle regions not yet known. Note that this entry starts with a dot. The format entry is used to build the endpoint for unknown regions. 
The placeholder's bucket and region are used to replace the respective bucket and region values. Now you can create a site to connect to your provider. Create the site and choose Protocol S3. Modify the host to your provider hostname. Enter the access and secret keys. If everything is correct, you can now connect to your provider. In the right view, you will see your buckets, directories, and files. In this tutorial, you learned how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to non-Amazon S3 storage providers like DreamObjects or DigitalOcean. In this video, we'll teach you how to configure Amazon S3 server side encryption with FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up Amazon S3 server side encryption with FileZilla Pro. Launch FileZilla Pro. With FileZilla Pro, you can configure how Amazon protects your files at rest. To set the encryption type for a file, choose the S3 server side encryption option. By default, files are not encrypted on the remote side. With the S3 encryption type, Amazon manages the encryption keys used to encrypt the file. This option allows you to protect your file with the keys from the Amazon Key Management Service. You can either use your default key or enter a custom key. You can manage the keys in the Key Management Service console. See the link in this video description. You can also set the encryption type for the whole connection. In this case, the encryption type is automatically set when uploading the files. The options are similar to the ones used for a single file. Use S3 encryption for S3 managed keys and KMS for keys from the key management service. The link in the description explains the different options. It is also possible to set your own encryption key. Use this option when you want to manage the encryption key yourself. The custom key is used to encrypt the file when uploading and to decrypt when downloading. Keep in mind that if you lose or forget the encryption key, you will not be able to recover your files. For details about the encryption types, visit the page Protecting Data Using Server-Side Encryption. See the link in this video description. In this video, you learned how to use Amazon S3 server-side encryption with FileZilla Pro. In this video, we'll teach you how to manage S3 lifecycle policies management with FileZilla Pro. In this video, you will learn how to manage your S3 buckets lifecycle policies with FileZilla Pro. Launch FileZilla Pro. Connect to your S3 site. On the right, you see the list of your buckets. Right-click or Control-click if you are on a Mac to open the context menu and choose the S3 bucket lifecycle policies. The configuration is shown. On top, you see the list of rules. If the bucket has no policy rules, you can set a default rule that cleans incomplete multi-part uploads after seven days. To create a new rule, press Add. Give the rule a name. Enable the rule to run it automatically. You can limit the scope of the rule. By setting the prefix, you can limit the rule to objects starting with that prefix. For example, objects under the images subdirectory. You can also limit the rule to objects with specific tags. The rule will be applied only to the objects that match tag name and value. Then you have to select the actions that will be performed to those objects. You can add different actions to the rule. For example, move the objects to another storage, or delete the objects. These actions are applied to the current version of the objects. There are corresponding actions for previous versions of the objects if the objects are versioned. You can also add the action to remove incomplete uploads. After selecting an action, you have to specify its parameters. Parameters differ for each type of action. Date determines when the action will take place. Days specifies how many days after object creation the action will take place. You can set either one or the other. The storage indicates which storage class the object will be moved to. For a list of S3 storage classes, see the link in the description. You can add as many actions as you want to the same set of objects provided that you don't try to set the same action twice. Clicking OK will validate the rules and add them to the S3 bucket. In this video, you learned how to manage your S3 bucket's lifecycle policies with FileZilla Pro. 
In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to Microsoft Azure Cloud Storage Services. FileZilla Pro has support to both file and blob Azure storage types. Before start, please make sure you have an access key. You will need it in order to continue. You can get it from the Microsoft Azure Dashboard Portal website. Just click on the link to the Dashboard website you find in the video description. Now we can continue. First, you need to create a site entry for your Azure connection. Click New in the Site Manager dialog box to create a new connection. Select Microsoft Azure File Storage Service as the protocol. Automatically, FileZilla Pro fills the host name. If you want to connect to your blob service, you could select Azure Blob Storage Service as the protocol. Choose Normal as the logon type. Enter your storage account ID and access key in the text boxes. If everything is correct, you can now connect to your Azure file storage. In the right side, you see your shares, directories, and files. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to Google Cloud Storage Service. Before start, please make sure you have the ID of the project you want to access. You will need it together with your Google user and password in order to continue. You can get the project ID from the Google Cloud Resource Manager website. Just click on the link to the Resource Manager website you find in the video description. Now we can continue. First of all, you need to create a site entry for your Google Cloud connection. Click New in the Site Manager dialog box to create a new connection. Select Google Cloud Storage as the protocol. Automatically, FileZilla Pro fills the host name. Enter your project ID and your account email address in the text boxes. If everything is correct, you can now connect to your Google Cloud Storage. At this point, you will be redirect to Google to authorize FileZilla Pro to access your storage. Enter your Google credentials to continue. Now, authorizes FileZilla Pro to access your storage. If everything is correct, the connection continues without problems. You can close the browser window at this point. In the right side, you see your buckets, directories, and files. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to Google Drive. Launch FileZilla Pro. First of all, you need to create a site entry for your Google Drive connection. Click New in the Site Manager dialog box to create a new connection. Select Google Drive as the protocol. Automatically, FileZilla Pro fills the host name. Enter your account email address in the text boxes. If everything is correct, you can now connect to your Google Drive. You will be redirected to Google to authorize FileZilla Pro to access your Google storage. Enter your Google credentials to continue. Now authorize FileZilla Pro to access Google Drive. If everything is correct, the connection continues without problems. You can close the browser window at this point. In the right side, you see your own files and directories under the My Drive folder. Also files and directories others shared with you under the Shared With Me folder. And finally, under Team Drives folder, you see the G Suite Team Drives your Google account belongs to. If you have the administrative rights, you will be able to add or remove Team Drives by creating or deleting directories under Team Drives folder. In this video, you learned how to connect to Google Drive with FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to Dropbox. Launch FileZilla Pro. Start creating a site entry for your Dropbox connection. Click New in the Site Manager dialog box to create a new connection. Select Dropbox as the protocol. You will be redirected to Dropbox to authorize FileZilla